So I wasn't even gonna take a video because uh, I got to get this work done. <laughs> but I thought I thought it could, uh, it could serve a couple of purposes. First purpose being those of you who are hard on yourself because uh, it's your first, second year of beekeeping, fourth year of beekeeping, and uh, you do something stupid and think you should know better. And well, you know, here's a perfect example. I'm we're stacking these hives uh, so they're ready for the uh, trucks here in a couple of days, take them down to California. And I forgot this pallet was here and so just totally bulldozed uh, these boxes. Thankfully, I didn't do any damage to the boxes, so I'm just gonna put them back together. But, you know, I mean, it's like 40 degrees, the bees are cranky, it's rainy. Um, I've got this uh, veil that I just threw over my head here because, you know, I'm in rain gear moving these bees. Uh, it's just nasty. I love bees. I love beekeeping. But the reality, uh, this is the reality of uh, commercial beekeeping at times. It, it just sometimes can be really, really nasty. Uh, anyways, on the plus side, this is a great way to inspect your bees. And as you can see, it's a great, great view. Good clusters. This one, I'm not sure if it's dead or not. I, uh, let's see if I can... Okay, yeah, this one's dead out, so we'll, we'll mark that one. But uh, yeah, anyway, so just thought uh, those of you who are hard on yourself about, you know, you feel you should know better, uh, it doesn't matter how long you've been doing this, uh, you make mistakes. And also too, uh, like with any kind of farming, uh, there's days that aren't so pleasant. But anyways, yeah, getting all the bees loaded up, got uh, a couple more hundred colonies being brought in here uh, over the next day from the fields and uh, we're going to go down to California. A little addendum that I meant to actually add to the video when I was still out in the bee yard and forgot but I got the girls, the crew with me say hi. Hi! <laughs> hi. Uh, and that is that so if your bees, if you tip bees, if you tip your hive or whatever else the best thing to do is to walk away for a little bit, even even five, 10 minutes, give them a chance to calm down. Then when you go to put the hive back together, use lots of smoke and just be gentle. Um, one of the first times Amanda was out helping me, my wife, <clears throat> I had uh, dropped a pallet of bees with the bobcat and she rushed in fearlessly to help me. <laughs> and I tried to yell at her, the top of the bobcat running to just just leave it be leave it alone but anyway she rushed in very valiantly and and uh, bravely to try to right the hives and she got bees everywhere i mean they went they found every little area they could in her suit and so just a reminder if ever you do accidentally knock a hive over or knock some hives over best thing to do just give them some time to calm down and then you should be able to resume uh, operations. So anyways, Happy New Year too. Meant to say that. Girls, you wanna wish everyone a Happy New Year? Yep. Go ahead. Uh, say Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> we'll catch you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.